Okay, we have the uh, Nectar, so the mud puppy here. It's already been skinned. We're going to go through the muscles in the order that they are on the terms list. Okay, first you have the horizontal septum. Okay, which separates your epaxial musculature from your hypaxial musculature. Okay, and you can see that these are repeating uh, segments of muscle. The muscle part are the myomeres, and then the lines in between them are the myosepta. Okay, these epaxial muscu muscles here are the dorsalis trunci. Then the hypaxial muscles here are the external obliques. And then you have two layers of muscle deep to the external oblique, the internal oblique, and the transverse abdominis. Okay, and then towards the midline, you also have a muscle, the rectus abdominis. And those are also repeating. Okay, when we go to the top of the head, there are two muscles here the adductor mandibular, adductor mandibulae externus, and the adductor mandibulae anterior. Okay, and the branchohyoides is this big muscle. This big muscle. There. Okay, and we'll see that one again. Um, all right, then we have a bunch of very small muscles which we've pinned. Okay, the yellow one here is the latissimus dorsi, and then the blue one is dorsalis scapulae, and then the pink one is cucularis, and then the pectoroscapularis is the green one, and then we have one that's not pinned, which is the procoracohumularis. Procoracohumoralis. Okay, and then we have two on the on the dorsal side. The white one is dilator laryngeus, and the red one is levatoris arculum. Okay, and then we have um, covering the lower jaw, lower mandible. You have the sphincter coli. So there's three muscles here, and you can't really differentiate between three, but sphincter coli is um, the most caudal, and then you have interhyoidus and intermandibularis, one, two, three. Underneath them, so you reflect them, there's a paired muscle right down the middle, the genohyoidus, and then you can see the branchohyoides right there as well. Okay, and then we have three pinned here. Uh, the seafoam green is the rectus cervicus, and then the gold one is the uh, supracoracoideus, and then the teal one is the pectoralis. Okay, and then the only other structure is the mid dorsal septum which is what separates your left and right muscles. Um, and then the fascia in between them makes a white appearance, and that would be the linea alba.